Okay, so in order for us to answer this exam question, we need to um, know what potential energy is all about and kinetic energy is all about. So, uh, potential energy is uh, the energy uh, possessed by an object which is on uh, its position. While kinetic energy is uh, the energy which is possess possessed by the the object which is uh, in motion. Here it's in motion. Here it's uh, at its position. So uh, there are formulas involved. So for potential energy, you say potential energy is equal to mass multiplied by gravity by height. Okay, and for kinetic energy, the formula here is. Uh, 1 over 2 by uh, mass by velocity squared. So these are the two formulas that we need to know. So now, uh, when you have an object, it's on top. Okay, let me, let me write something here. Let's say this is the height. It's a height. Okay, so we have a height and there is maybe a human being here. This person here is holding maybe a ball. Let me just say a ball, okay? And then he drops the ball up to somewhere here, okay? This is now where we need to apply what we call conserve, uh, conservation of, uh, of energy. So this law is very important. So what it says, it says that uh, energy... Okay, energy can be uh, changed, changed from one form to another. Okay, but cannot be created or destroyed. So this law is very important. It's what we're going to use here. We call it conservation law. So now, uh, here, if you see where the ball is here, it has got potential energy. Also, kinetic energy. There are two things here where the ball is. So the potential energy, the potential energy here, it will depend with what you have been given. For example, in this question, they have given us see, the the mass. We can see the mass here, and uh, the height is thirty. So which which entails that which entails us that we can find the potential energy. So potential energy can be found over here using the formula which is which is here. So this is the formula here. So we say potential energy is equal to. What is the mass? The mass is 4 kg times gravity. Gravity, you write 10. Because the gravity, according to the standards, is 9.81 meters per second squared. So you can round it off to 10. Okay. So you just put it 10 times the height. Height will be given, which is 30. So when we work out things here, we'll find that the potential energy will be equal to uh, 1,200 uh, 1, 1, uh, joules. So the units for energy is joules, don't forget. So we are found the potential energy. So now, our next move here will be to get this potential energy we found and put it here. So this is the potential energy here, very, very important. So this is the potential energy. Now, what about kinetic energy? Remember, we are using uh, the law of conservation, which is here. This is the law we are using here. I want you to understand what happens or what it means with this law. So 
here the ball is at its position here it has not been dropped yet the potential energy we have found it to be 1200 joules while the kinetic energy here is supposed to be zero because the ball is not moving so kinetic energy is zero so as the ball is being dropped it reaches the middle point here uh, energy changes here so potential energy becomes uh, six, 600 joules also kinetic energy becomes 600 joules okay so what happens here is that when the, that thing whichever object you are dropping when it reaches the middle point the kinetic energy change, changes from 0 to 6 and the potential energy I mean from 0 to 600 and the potential energy also from 0 to 600 in other ways you get the potential energy which is here divided by 2 this one divided by 2 and the potential energy is equal to kinetic energy at the middle point and before the the, the, the ball or the, the brick in this case is a brick before the brick touches the the ground here remember before it touches the ground the kinetic energy uh, the potential energy changes to zero and the kinetic energy goes to how the uh, potential energy was here on top it was 1200 joules so kinetic energy becomes 1200 joules while the potential is zero hopefully you are following here so this is very important what i've talked about is what you need to know in order for you to answer this exam question so now since you have the kinetic energy this kinetic energy can help us now find what they want us to find in the question and in this case is velocity because in the formula of kinetic energy there is a velocity here which can help us now calculate so what we're going to do let me clean up here so our next move here will be to use the formula for finding kinetic energy where we say kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 mass velocity squared I've just gotten what is here is what I want to use so do we have kinetic energy yes kinetic energy is over here this is the kinetic energy so it's 1200 joules which is equal to 1 over 2 do you have the mass yes mass we have which is 4 do you have a velocity we don't have this is what we are looking for so now we can do our calculations nicely we need to apply some mathematics here so we know that 2 into 2 1 into 4 is 2 so now we can multiply 1 times 2 times z, uh, v squared it will be 2 v squared so here we can divide by 2 divide by 2 it will cancel so we we'll remain with let me put it here we we'll remain with it. v is equal to of v squared this v squared is equal to uh, 2 into 1200 it will be 600 okay and uh, we square both sides because we want to get rid of the power so it will be v is equal to uh, we get our calculator root of uh, 600 it will be equal to 20 24.4947 uh, uh, so you can put it in uh, three significant figures so it will be like this meters per second so this is our final answer thank you very much kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and watch more and more uh, videos this has been jacob osichamba bye bye